Greetings. This devotion is for the 14th of April, and our reading comes from the 12th chapter of St. Mark, verses 18 through 27. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. But there were seven brothers. The first married, and when he died, left no children. And the second married her and died, leaving no children. And the third likewise. None of the seven left children. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason you are wrong, that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God? For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven, and as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is God, not of the dead, but of the living. You are quite wrong. So, Part of this setup here, and it, it kind of indicates it right at the beginning of this passage, um, that there was a group of religious leaders, and, and the Sadducees in this case, and, and not all scholars agree that all Sadducees believe this, but there were a group of Sadducees who did not believe in the resurrection of the dead. Right? Now, we can't transfer that to the Pharisees, to the scribes, to uh, there, there was just this group, right? That was the group, though, who came to question Jesus and, 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 like all of the religious leaders, tried very hard to entrap Jesus. This one failed miserably. And, and I think it's important to note why. It, uh, they, they, in essence, were trying to use Scripture, misinterpret Scripture to their own means. Instead of letting Scripture teach them, they were using Scripture for their own means, right? And Jesus called them out. And, and really, um, for, for Scripture texts, it's, it's a pretty strong response. You are quite wrong, right? The thing that we can take from this is is exactly that though, that is that scripture we need to be open to the fact that scripture changes us. That's really the point, right? It isn't about scripture uh, us reading scripture and kind of using it to justify around what we do. And so often we hear that and hopefully we've never done that. But this is the call to not do that, right? Our challenge is always to be open to the changes that Scripture gives to us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly God, help us always to be open to what your message is to us. Even though at time it will challenge you give us these guides, these, these messages, the, 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 the Bible texts, so that we can go come closer to your will and to your love. Help us, dear God, to embrace the changes it brings us. Heavenly God, we cry out to an end to senseless shootings as they seem to continue without stop. Heavenly God, bring us as a people at rest. We pray, dear God, that you would be with those who have been affected by these shootings. We pray for the grieving, that you would lift them up in your arms. 
and we pray for communities to come together in ways that affect positive change, that all would be considered your children. Heavenly God, we cry out to an end to pandemic. As numbers rise and, and people are hospitalized, dear God, we pray for a slowing. We pray for all people to be able to get vaccine. We pray, dear God, that you would bring this to a close, that we might be able to reach out to each other in love and caring. It is through our Lord and risen Savior that we do pray. Amen.